Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys that need an awesome little scanner that can reset engine light. You can read codes, you can see live data to analyze what's wrong with your engine. You can check IM readiness that actually tells you if your car is ready to pass emissions and all that guys, okay, is, uh, uh, is contained in that little bitty scanner by CG Solid guys. It's the SC204. Stay with us, we're going to put it to the test and see if it's the money it's very affordable it's very cheap in my opinion i will put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from and learn more about it now uh, let me tell you a little bit about us before we start every single car we get at the garage guys as you know we practically take them apart we make more than two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because our mission the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos for you guys so let's explain what we have here that fiat 500 above guys which is the high performance fiat uh, uh, actually it's called a baby ferrari also uh, this one has engine light on okay engine light is on and we're going to put it to the test and see if that little bitty device can actually tell us okay what's wrong with it so let's go ahead do that now i'm going inside i want to uh, go ahead and connect the scanner so we're ready with that uh, with that part so we don't need to do it again okay perfect right there now <coughs> what i'm going to do here i'll get the key and i want to start the car i want to show you guys okay how actually the engine light is on on that fiat okay let's go ahead start it okay i'm going to start it now and you'll see on the dash it will say okay service engine and engine light is on on top as well okay right there so let's see if that little bitty device now okay can actually tell us okay what's wrong with uh, with with the car and see if we can fix it so i'm going to turn it off okay turn it back on without starting the car just the ignition to the second position now let me go ahead okay and close the door it may not beep so much it does okay if it starts beeping i'll close it okay that's the scanner here guys and uh, it has the functions obd dtc lookup review about and setup in setup you can change units language okay pretty straightforward okay let me just adjust the camera quick because okay i'm having a little bit of hard time here perfect now if you guys want to see if your car can pass emissions which is super convenient because otherwise you're going to pay a fee and they'll tell you okay it's not ready you need to drive your car more let's say you reset a code or you replace the battery it will not be ready <laughs> how you can check that you click i am readiness excuse me when you check i am readiness it's going to scan all the systems that are supported by the vehicle and usually like for california if you have one incomplete you can pass emissions but if you have more than one incomplete you cannot pass emissions in our case dtc1 we have engine line on we cannot pass emissions uh, right here okay it passed two computers misfire and ccm but the other ones guys okay the one other with a cross with the x they are not ready which means we have to drive the car more and the one with the uh, uh with the uh, uh with the light across it means that they're not supported by this vehicle so we need to worry about the one with the x if all of them turn check marks we are ready to go so i'll go back and let me show you now under obd okay what we can find there so if we click obd here okay it's going to find the protocol that it uses and once it finds that protocol we'll be able to read the codes see live data clear codes and all that stuff so, so the computer like that guys it's a must i will always keep one in the glove box and make sure that i have it one code found okay right here so we're going to confirm we want to erase the previously stored data it's doing that now it's by cg solid guys we're going to click read codes stored codes i check i always check stored pending and permanent to make sure that you don't have another code so we have code p0351 ignition coil a primary secondary circuit so it means that we have problems with the ignition coil on cylinder number one ignition coil a is cylinder number one coil b is cylinder number two coil c is cylinder number three and d is four the last digit of the code corresponds to the cylinder number practically guys so pending codes let's see what we have there no pending codes okay because sometimes you may have like another code that uh, leads to misfire or anything permanent codes is this one there so if you want to reset the code it's pretty straightforward you click erase data okay yes check it out now erase done 
press any key to continue okay we're going to continue now uh, wow okay we're doing that I want to show you something else you can check uh, view freeze frame that's uh, at uh, what uh, uh, condition the light turn on how many rpms coolant temperature and all that stuff uh, here you have different component tests okay for different vehicles there will be different tests as well uh, the selected mode is not supported on fiat sometimes you can test oxygen sensors things like that but if you go to live data that's a tool that you need guys okay i'm going to let it load while it's loading because it's going to read all the parameters i will restart the car and i want to show you now engine light will not be on and it will not say service engine anymore okay that clearly okay that's done so i'm going to let the car run now okay car is running we're going to click here view data you can record the data as well you can select custom list or all of them and units of measure okay you can check that one as well and you can check here the load the uh, coolant temperature 44 degrees celsius 45 okay you can see uh, now you can check other engine specifications rpms i can click here okay and i think it will open a graph check it out now yep 5200 rpms you can see how responsive it is vehicle speed spark advance uh, that's a uh, uh, intake air temperature sensor 26 degrees celsius throttle position 14 percent in the fact give it gas okay hold on okay you see how it changes but it needs to be super fast okay you can see 88 percent when i press the gas pedal down so throttle pedals working oxygen sensors you can check here ox oxygen sensor you can see bank one sensor two that's after the catalytic converter uh, mu status okay at what uh, mu at what uh, distance the engine light turn on okay all that is here plus you're going to have the warm-up since the you clear the engine light the evap pressure all that guys is super important okay for the diagnostics and the cat temperature for the catalytic converter as well you can see 327 degrees uh, so all that can be found with the help of that little bitty computer that can save you so much so much trouble guys so hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you considering something like that in my opinion it's just worth it to buy put in the glove box and have to have it just in case you have engine light when you're on the road thank you for watching and see you guys next time